Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues and partners, good morning, good afternoon to all from Rome. On behalf of IFAD, let me first sincerely thank the Asian Farmers Association for Sustainable Rural Development, the International Land Coalition, the People's Campaign for Agrarian Reform Network, and the Stockholm Environment Institute for co-organizing and for inviting IFAD to this important regional forum on sustaining family farming in Asia through inclusive farmer-driven approaches. Family farming is critically important. As you know, family farming is currently the predominant form of food and agricultural production in both developed and developing countries, producing over 80% of the world's food. Family farming does not just produce food, it also fulfills environmental, social and cultural functions. Family farmers are the custodians of biodiversity and they help in preserving the landscape as well as the community and cultural heritage. This is even truer in Asia Pacific, where 51% of the world's poorest and 62% of the world's hungriest people live, and where 80% of family farms are working just two hectare plots. But we need to act now and to act quickly if we want to preserve and promote this model of family farming. As you know, on the 20th of December 2017, at its 72nd session, the UN General Assembly proclaimed 2019 to 28 as the UN Decade of Family Farming. The UNDFF aims to serve as a framework for countries to develop public policies and investments to support family farming and contribute to the achievement of the SDGs. To oversee the implementation of the UNDFF, an international steering committee was established, composed of representatives of member states and family farming organizations such as AFA. The Secretariat of the International Steering Committee is jointly held by IFAD and FAO. Today, the Global Action Plan of the UNDFF has been defined. We need now to operationalize this global plan at national level. AFA and the National Platform of Farmer Organizations, with the support of IFAD through the regional Asia Pacific Farmers Program, have already started in some countries to mobilize the national platforms to engage with government and the partners involved in agriculture and rural development in order to formulate national action plans. Some countries in Asia are already well advanced, like Mongolia, Nepal, Philippines. Some others are at the initial stage. And that is why today I would like here to really encourage all of you to accelerate the joint design of these national plans. On the IFAD side, and in the regional division where I work, we are committed to fully mobilize our country offices and programs to participate in the design of these national action plans. But it's important to remember that these plans need to be owned by the country with the support of all stakeholders involved in rural development, especially family farming organizations and civil society Country-level multi-stakeholder processes will be fundamental to ensure joint design, but also joint implementation of these action plans. My esteemed colleagues and partners, I really appeal to you to strengthen the collaboration in each country and to mobilize all the possible resources to support governments in this task. It's in the interest of the rural poor, in the interests of farmer organizations. It's also in the interest of government and the wider development community. Please accept my best wishes for a successful forum, and I look forward to the joint identification of strategic solutions and mechanisms to deliver powerful and effective national action plans. Thank you for your attention.